Warning, the following video, video has a few stutters. I tried some new settings to reduce banding, I think. And it failed, <laughs> or rather, the recording computer wasn't powerful enough and I forget, forgot to see, look at the CPU usage. So if it bothers you very much, just skip it. There's not that much story except for the first Five minutes, maybe? Anyway, now comes the real episode. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. I'm on my way to Kisana, because she has some information for me regarding the dying person outside the gate about his girl and uh, she has parts of the main story I think as well so let's go see what that's all about <laughs> just gotta wait for Kenjiro to move his legs a bit <laughs> Hi there. Kisana is waiting inside the cathedral. I've been waiting for you, Kenjiro. This way. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I think this is the main quest. Kinda nice that she can just move around in the city and not be assaulted. We used to have a king which is now dead. And he would take the the subway up to go skiing in the in the forest. <laughs> and someone asked him, like, "Aren't you afraid? Aren't someone gonna? Aren't someone gonna, me, someone going to attack you?" I didn't go that far. <laughs> and he answered, "Like, no, I'm not afraid. I have four million bodyguards, <laughs> which is the amount of people here." And it's kind of true because the royal family here never were jerks. Most, even though if they don't agree with the monarchy, they kind of like the is royalty. City. In oh, there. she is. What's she doing there? She is sleeping in the chamber of miracles, which lies on the highest floor of the tallest tower. <laughs> what is this chamber? A place where all wounds are healed, all ailments cured. Oh. I told Lady Yuria about it, just as my father told me long ago. So she then really is in there. Why is she when in she there? When she learned that it was a forbidden place, she decided to enter without her followers. How was her condition at the time? Not good, I'm afraid. Her wounds were still bleeding. It was a marvel she could even walk. She appeared dauntless. Wounds from what? I fear she was suffering. In other words, you don't know if she made it to the Chamber of Miracles at all. Indeed. I regret to admit that is all I can tell you. Thank you. Well, Kisana. Sounds like we're heading in there. Oh? <laughs> I've only been in Eden a few days. But from what I've learned about Sphere City, this place is very important to your people. Still, you showed her kindness. Took her in. Yuri has been through so much pain. Thank you. Truth be told, I did so at another's behest. Whose? Someone my father once served. Someone he's indebted to. I received a letter from them about half a year ago. It read, 
If a woman named Yuria comes to you, then guide her to the Chamber of Miracles. <laughs> to ch why? So that's <laughs> why she's here. I'd like to see Yuria, if possible. A few hours after Yuria entered Sphere City, the doors were shut tight. So I assume an automatic really mechanism self-activated. Is there no way to open them ourselves? Unfortunately, there is not. Not even I know how. I have seen these doors open but once before. When? When she came, apparently. The day my father killed oh. my mother. Oh. What? Father! Mother! What are you doing? You have to come out! What's really going on in there? <laughs> Father, What? No, Kisana, what are you doing here? And why do ha he have the skills to kill someone with his no! fingers? Ah, now she's killing him. My father had changed. He grew obsessed with controlling Sphere City and eliminated anyone in his way. When my mother confronted him, he took her life. So in order ah. to protect Eden, I took his in turn. The classic power corrupts, maybe? I can't even imagine. Those doors were open until Lady Yuria passed through. Oh. Why they closed. How long was that, though? How they open, only my father knew. Sorry to dredge up such painful memories. It is I who should apologize. I should not give in to my emotions. But whenever I think of it... You now bear Kisana's Star of Destiny. Hey! So this is where you've been! Yeah? Oh, is something wrong, Jagre? Everything! But let's start with ditching your partner! Why am I left out whenever something important happens? Since when partner? I'm your partner? <laughs> no, come on, Ken. After all we've been through. <laughs> I've been there three days, apparently. Kisana, is there a way to see if Yuria made it to the top of the tower? Wait, what? Your old lady's in Sphere City? Sure is. Yeah. For a view like that, you'd have to scale the mountain overlooking the city itself. Whoa, whoa! Slow your roll! The only <laughs> way to get there is through the cursed village! Oh, great. The what? Look, I'd like to go through there. There's only one way over those mountains. Through a town of raving psychopaths. The cursed village. You say it's cursed. There's something in the air around there. It gets into their minds. It's probably Turns from Spare, spare City. It's a disease of the mind, causing incurable bloodlust. That's right! Had a nasty run in with the freaks myself. Doesn't matter who you are, they'll attack on sight. They're fucked up, that's for damn sure. Those infected by the disease were sent into exile, banished from civilization. After a while, the infected gathered on that mountain. 
So there's a horde of madmen blocking the way up the mountain. <laughs> Interesting. Good to know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on! Don't be an idiot! Even you couldn't make it through there alive! Oh, why not? My mind is already made up. Well, I sure as shit ain't going. You wanna die? Then go by yourself! I'm already going. <laughs> Jagray, aren't you Kenshiro's partner? <laughs> huh? Yeah, so what? You know the lay of the land. Please guide him on his path. Look, there's a lot of stuff I'd do for you, but this is definitely more than some little favor. In that case, I order you, not as friend to friend, but as ruler of Eden to captain of the watch. Friend? No right, damn it. Fine. Twist my arm, why don't you? <laughs> Godspeed. Why does she want me to succeed in this? Head to the cursed village. Alright, Ken. Meet me at your car in the junk district. I know we gotta hurry, but make sure we... You're all set first. Why don't you take a nap so you're rested? Later. Can't really take a nap because then I can't use the car, can I? And who are you? Mm. Flustered woman. If it's not with Lady Kisana. If he's not with Lady Kisana. Huh? Oh. oh, there we are. Mr. Kenjiro! Mr. Kenjiro! My name is Mao. I'm a nurse at the clinic. Yeah. I see. What you did for Avery was incredible. I'd like you to help others. Is something wrong? Mm. Actually, yes. The clinic is, clinic is in big trouble. Oh, there's no time to explain. Please just come with me, Mr. Kenjiro. I need your help. My help? Paging Dr. Ken. <laughs> There's a queue, alright. Is the doctor gone? You mean the other patients? Is there another doctor in town besides... Ryaku? Ryaku? No. no, not anymore. There were other doctors, but they were killed. <gasps> killed? Yes. Some bandits from the wasteland came and robbed the clinic of nearly all its medicine. Did the clinic have a large supply? Yes. Not only did Ryaku leave another doctor in this place, he also supplied us with plenty of medicine. I don't know how those thieves learned about the clinic, but they clearly had a plan. What will they do with the medicine? I hear there's a pl place called Medicine City where people will pay a fortune. <laughs> I imagine they'll try to sell it there. I see. Do you think more bandits will show up? Yes. Patients are, aren't the only one waiting for the clinic to reopen. Mm. We can't keep the clinic open with so many thugs around but the number of patients just keeps getting higher. Hmm. You're the only person I could think of who could help and avoid being killed in the process. Please, Mr. Kenjiro, won't you please help? Let's go to the clinic. I'll do what I can. Thank you so much. Oh, also, could you please wear this while tending to the patients? You are a doctor after all. Sh sure. I have to wear white. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it looks good on you. And it's a perfect fit. You think? <laughs> that music as well. <laughs> oh. All right. Let me take a look. This magic. Oh. 
Oh, I can see. I can see. We'll be okay now. Thank you, guys. So this is Hok to Shinken. It really is something. By the way, where's the music come from? <laughs> Oh, it was waiting for you to ask. I was waiting for you to ask. This is a method Dr. Ryaku used. He called it musical therapy. Musical therapy? Yes. They say music and aid in healing people, so I took it upon myself to choose a few songs for the clinic. Thankfully, I'm usually pretty healthy, so I wouldn't know. I'm sure it works though, right? Okay, let's call in the next patient. Yeah. I'm not so sure this music helps. Next, please. Mr. Kenjiro? What is it? They're back. <laughs> oh, I got a fight to this music as well. That's more fitting. Oh, hey, Doc. Mind taking a look at me? My head's pounding. I think I need some meds. They still want more. Looks like a case of terminal stupidity. Say what? I can't hear it because of this shitty ass music. What is this crap? Uh, maybe I should stop the music? No, it's fine. Oh, right. Stay back. Yes. Okay. Huh? You're gonna give me some medicine or what? Hurry it up, will ya? Keep me waiting any longer and I might just have to kill you. I don't have any medicine for you, but I'll gladly give you a treatment. Oh. Huh? I'll need all patients to line up. No need to be shy. The doctor is in. <laughs> oh. Press match. It's song. Okay, so this is like a... Quick time or QTE simulation. <laughs> First, the Atatata icons. <laughs> Normal icons require one press of the button indicated. Atata icons requires multiple presses until the button disappears. First icons appear at the song's end to signify that Kenjiro is using a secret technique. Be sure to time your presses to match the prompt that appear for. Kenjiro's movement. Is this a rhythm game? Okay. I think it is. Let's see. Yep. Oops. Oh crap. I gotta get used to these symbols. I'm usually not that bad in rhythm games. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I scored pretty bad on that one. Procedure complete. This is the... What should I say? Take care. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the rhythm game of this game. Yakuza had the... Karaoke games. Yeah. Amazing. Treating patients in rhythm with the music. Is that what musical therapy means? No. I think that's a little different than what Rick Haku had in mind. Still, I'll gather music from all over Eden. Maybe you'll be able to do different types of treatment. No, the music's not. No. Oh, please. No need to be humble. I'll go look around the city while you're gone. While I'm gone? 
there's still plenty of thugs around. Can't open the clinic without you, Mr. Kenjiro. I hope you'll continue to help us, Mr. I mean, Dr. Kenjiro. <laughs> Got some XP from it. <laughs> Going back in. <laughs> this is not something I'll give up that easily. Well, I didn't do it that bad, but I could probably do a lot better. What type of treatment would you like to do? Ah, snail song, what's that? <laughs> Next patient warming up. Please come in. <laughs> Let's see. I need to concentrate a bit more. There we go, just had to concentrate a bit more, but still no S. I did a couple of mistakes in there. Medical. <laughs> Seven combo. Four bads. Eleven only, good. Can't really talk when I'm doing rhythm games for some reason. I had have that issue in multiple ones. Well done, Dr. Kenjiro. Almost everyone left happy. This is to thank you for all the treatments. It's from the patients. And for me. Speed engine AC01 obtained. How do I fix my... How do I upgrade the vehicle? <laughs> I think there's a new song here as well. Yeah. Concentration mode again. <laughs> it's not the worst rhythm game I've seen. Some Next of the patient. Hatsune Miku Please ones on Hard or Higher is quite... That, those twist my mind much more.
Well, that, that was... One miss too many. <laughs> Almost got an S. And speaking of Hatsune Miku, that song could probably go right in there. <laughs> Quite a few perfects, actually. I think with some practice I could ace these ones quite easily. Well done, Dr. Kenshiro. Almost everyone left happy. Supreme Whiskey. Unlocked Orpheus in the Underworld. Oh, it's a song. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna go check out the car upgrades and stuff. Since apparently we have to go out driving again, and I need to refill the car as well. Now where... Where am I? <laughs> I'm a bit tired today as well. I vacuumed the floor. Oh, shoulder pads, shoulder pride. What? Cleaned the floors. Tossed out a whole bunch of cardboard boxes. So I'm a bit pooped. What do you mean by cancelling your order? Hmm. hmm. I had this shoulder pad tailored to your exact specification and now you don't want it? What gives? You haven't heard? Some guy called the shoulder killers going around attacking everyone wearing shoulder pads. <laughs> I hear he's really strong and I don't need someone like that chasing me down. So no more shoulder pads for me. I don't want an upgrade. I'm sorry. Hey. <sighs> Everyone's cancelled their orders this month. Now what do I do? You... Talk to me? <laughs> yes, I'm out of the job. Sounds like you're in trouble. Huh. You heard? How embarrassing. Why is that embarrassing for you? I'm a shoulder pad craftsman. Been doing it for over 50 years. Shoulder pad craftsman? Yes. Yep. In this day and age, shoulder pads are a symbol of a man's character. It's all measured in his shoulder pads. <laughs> they may look similar, but each shoulder pad is different. I've dedicated my life to make nothing but the best. Good shoulder pads go to good people, that's always been my motto. <sighs> but lately these shoulder killers, root scum, ruined my business. Sales have been terrible thanks to him. <gasps> shoulder killer? Mm -hmm. He loves shoulder pads so much, he attacks everyone wearing them and swipes them right off their shoulders. <sighs> he scared every one of my customers into cancelling their orders. <sighs> To th think someone like that actually exists. Hmm. It's great that he loves shoulder pads, but now my business is failing. And now it's never been harder. Perhaps my time in this business is coming to an end. I don't want to stop here, I want to keep working. I want to try convincing this shoulder killer to stop attacking people. He's a violent one, but he loves shoulder pads, so he can't be all that bad. I should be able to talk to him. Does anyone know where he is? No. I'm still looking for him, but it's hard for an old man like me. I do have a plan though. Oh, can you help me find the shoulder killer? No one else will help me because they're too afraid of him. For the future of shoulder pads, I beg you. Sure. Yeah. All right, I'll help you. Ah, thank you. You're a savior of the shoulder pad world. <laughs> what do I need to do? You said you had a plan. <laughs> I'll tell you. I was up three whole days coming up with this. Allow me to explain. I guess I have to wear some pads and walk around. <laughs> what do you think? I call it shoulder seduction. Those are the best shoulder pads I've ever made. He's bound to show up. <gasps> are you sure this will work? Yes. Yes. Maybe. I'll get suspicious if I'm here with you, so give me a chance to hide. Good luck.
this will be interesting. <laughs> I'm just supposed to hold them like that. <laughs> Nothing. Sure is taking his time. Kenjiro. Hmm. Shoulder killer isn't showing up. Perhaps our plan it was too weak. Yeah. Seems that way. <sighs> I thought this plan was perfect, but I guess it wasn't good enough. We may need to make it more obvious in order for him to notice. Yeah. Alright then. It's time for plan B. <gasps> plan B? Yes. Yes, we'll try something a little simpler. I hope you're still with me. Uh -huh. Wait, please don't leave. I don't have that much time. Please make some time. I promise I'll give you... I'll give up if this doesn't work. The lives of Eden's shoulder pad lovers are on the line. As is my life as a shoulder, shoulder pad craftsman. Please. Okay, let's try. <laughs> I'm done after this. Yes. Of course. Let's move on to plan B. Oh. <laughs> Can't be that stupid. What do you think? I learned this from an old fairy tale. You think it'll work? It will work? Mm. Possibly. We won't know until we try. Best of luck. I mean, it can't be that stupid. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, shoulder pads. So many shoulder pads. Hmm. Mm. Makeup is so great. Hey, looks like I hit the jackpot. Oh? Hmm, who are you? That's my line. Hmm. You must be the shoulder killer. Huh? huh? What in the hell? This this is some crap trap? Why you little <gasps> I guess some people do fall for something this obvious. What? I can't allow you to do what keep doing what you're doing. Why are you stealing shoulder pads? As a shoulder pad lover, you should know better. This is not how we treat our precious shoulder pads. <laughs> uh, the hell you are t talking about? I don't know these things. What? Then why are you going after them? They make me some serious kaching, that's all. Especially them high class custom made ones. They go for a lot, so I hunt down the guys wearing those. No, I put my heart and soul in those pads. Oh, you made this? Perfect. You should come work for me. Mm. What are you saying? You make the shoulder pads and I sell them off. For some good eats. <laughs> Pretty subtle little scheme, ain't it? Haha. <laughs> I don't think I would trust that guy. <laughs> don't fuck with a shoulder pad craftsman. Ha. Bad idea. Mm. Ah. You got gut scramps. I'll give you that. Do you know my motto? Shoulder killer? What are you on about? Good shoulder pads go to good people. That's my motto. I make sho shoulder pads for people who will wear them with pride. They're not for you to do with as you please. I won't let you have them, even if it kills me. You're just an old shoulder pad maker. You don't know shit. Hey. That's enough. And who are you? You have no right to hold those shoulder pads. You're picking a fight? Alright, I'll start with you. Low lives. <laughs> Low life. Oh, he's quick. 
That's quick. Oh, crap, he died too fast. <laughs> I still got an S+. Plus. Thank you, Kenjiro. Now I can finally return to what I know best. You're a wonderful man and you deserve to wear my masterpiece. Please take this. Craftsman's plates EX obtained. These are the best shoulder pads I've ever made, that's why I call them X. I've been saving these for the right man. Let's say I finally found him. Are you sure? Yes! Absolutely. I've been waiting for this path for over 50 years. I know a good man when I see one. <laughs> I'm expecting great things from you. I believe you'll bring create a bright future for this city. You're assuming too much. <laughs> good shoulder pads go to good people. And a level up. And I have to look at this shoulder pad. Let's see, death one, blades two, shots one. Oh, they're much better. I'll take it. Let's uh, try him out. <laughs> Ow. Oh, there was a fourth guy. There's even more. I didn't notice them. Still, no, he's not anymore. <laughs> and I, no, wanted to do my feet combo. Ow! There we go. He's dead, just to be. Don't think the pads did much in this fight. <laughs> Yakra. Now can I fuel up? Yo. Oh, that's expensive. Six thousand IBLs. <laughs> Let's customize it a bit. Engine. Oh, it's slightly better. I got a muffler. Yep. Oh, look at that. The boost speed goes way up. Cannot repair that muffler yet. Why not? Not oh. I see. Perfect. <laughs> right, I think that's it for this episode, so until next time, bye bye. <laughs>